welcome to Kentucky Bird Reviews. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. And today we have another growler for you. I like this one. It's called the Eco Vessel. It is triple insulated and it's also stainless steel. It holds uh, 64 ounces. It does. Check this out. Normally you have a really big cap, as per usual. Eco Vessel, you have also the option for a tiny cap. That's walking and sipping. Now, um, what that means for, uh, my problem I have with a lot of growlers, uh, specifically these style the stainless steel ones, is mm -hmm. they generally, they don't pour very well because of the size of the lids. This makes it much easier to pour. So um, much easier. I was initially worried about it because that's just one more thing it has to be sealed up because it adds an additional thing to be sealed up, which which kind of kind of sucks. But now it's it's rubber gasketed out the wazoo though. Yeah. So uh, we actually thoroughly tested this. So we went through about a month of testing this. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's been filled. I think we filled it at least six times. We took it on vacation. We walked around hiking with it. We took it everywhere. Mm -hmm. So um, it also doubles as a really good water bottle. It's super thick. Like you can fill it. Just keep stuff cold for quite a while. So another like feature that. this has is pretty cool. Is this little cute little, little oh, basket? Look at that. Look at that little basket right there. It's yeah. it's a fruit infuser. Yeah. Yeah. Thing opens up. Fill this full of blue moon. Add some orange peels. It's yeah. magical. Yeah. I mean, it would. We used it once. I used it for water, uh, water fruit water once, and I used it for beer once. Just some fruit water. Yeah. Um, on our. I mean, water. normally I would not put water into anything that called itself a growler, but that just, that thing begs to have water put in it and then infused with delicious things. So, so uh, one, the biggest thing with growlers, well, the two biggest things you want to worry about is um, how, how well does it keep the beer cold okay. and how well is it sealed? And, yeah. So those are the two questions we have. So we, uh, after filling this six or seven times, um, Generally, the longest I left beer in here was three or four days, and every time I had no issues mm -hmm. with the beer. Um, it was carbonation was fine on it. Um, as far as cold, cold goes, um, it sat in the car for around six or seven hours. It was still perfectly cold by the time where I got it, but then I was like, well, I'm gonna test it longer than that. It's so good choice. what I did was I took this growler, um, I filled it with some reasonably cold water. Uh, I left it on my counter, at, in my, my house is about 75 degrees. I left it on my counter for 36 hours to see how cold it would stay. So after... Oh, ladies and gentlemen, science. Right? Actually, science happened. We actually did research. Science happened to find out how good this is. So, That's right. Um, at 12 hours, it was still at 50 degrees. So 50.7 degrees, which is, in my house is at 75. So that, that's really, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, at 24 hours, it was only at 53.7. So it only went up three degrees at the 24 hour mark. And then at the 36 hour mark, it was at 58.7. So anything, like once it gets to that 60 mark, then I would consider it too warm to drink, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but that's really good for just sitting on my counter. Yeah. With her, I mean. It so is It is warm in your house. So it's, air conditioning is expensive. It's perfect. It's perfect for camping or traveling mm -hmm. or something like that. And, and like, we were intending to do a review with beer in it, but uh, I thought we were doing it at a later date, and now we don't have beer in it. Uh, well, I did have... Uh, Country Boy Cherry Cider in here, really but we, we drank it. So. <laughs> um, yeah, it is very good at keeping things cold. Uh, to the point where this is a really good uh, this is a really good camping growler. Also, because it's not super super expensive, and this coating is really hard to rub off. So, what's the price on this growler? The price on this growler is a number fifty four ninety five. Um, so you put that in perspective, the price of standing growlers are around forty to forty-four dollars. Mm -hmm. um, that's typical. That's a typical for this type of growler. Um, you want a hardcore growler, you're going to have to pay a little bit more for it. Uh, and that's. It's not too. I think it's not too much to pay for a growler. Uh, I'd say over sixty bucks is. That's about the, the time. This is the most yeah. I want to pay for a good growler. Um, this was sent to us for free, though. They sent to us for review purposes. Fine people that they are. Yeah. So. Um, What's the verdict on this? What do I think of it overall? I think it's one of the best growlers I've ever used. And I don't say that very often. We've reviewed a ton of growlers. One of the best growlers I've ever used. Uh, seals really well, keeps temperature really good. Um, it isn't number one, but it's it's up there. As far as non-pressurized growlers? Not yeah, like non-pressurized. Okay, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I'm talking about non-pressurized. Uh, I figured you probably were. I just wanted to make uh, sure that we It's going to get a nine. A nine? A nine, yeah. Okay. Almost perfect score, so. I think I like this. 
It gives you as features. far as as far as as far as regular growlers, insulated growlers go. I think I like this most of the growlers that we've tried, mostly because it gives you options. An extra little cap, the infuser. That's a, that's a good choice. We should have more things with infusers in them, and also more things with drinking caps. It's on nice them. to have the extra features. Uh, like, like, seems like it keeps really things cold. It keeps things cold. There's extra little gadgets and doodads that comes with it. I'm gonna give it a nine also, but I do think that this beats out my other favorite, my previous favorite, by a little bit more. It's uh, it's a little bit better as far as non-pressurized growlers go. I like that one a lot. All right, well, I will put the link to their website in the description down below. Don't forget right. to hit that like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this of us reviewing beer-related stuff like this, let us know in the comments. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.